A bag contains 15 billiard balls numbered 1 through 15. Randomly draw 5 balls from the bag without replacement. Let the event A be that exactly 2 odd numbered balls are drawn from the bag and they occur on odd numbered draws. Find the probability of A. So down here in the corner I'm going to go ahead and draw this bag and here are the billiard balls numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up through 15. And we are going to pull five balls from the bag. So let's do one specific uh, instance here. Let's say the first ball that we pull out is a six. And the second ball that we pull out is an eight. Notice we, we can't have repeats because we're drawing them without replacement. Let's say the next one is a five, followed by a 10, followed by a three. Now in this case, this particular sequence of five draws satisfies the criteria that we have exactly two odd numbered balls, namely the five ball got pulled out and the three ball got pulled out, and they occurred on odd numbered draws. They were taken out on the third and the fifth draws so that means the criteria is satisfied. So in calculating the probability of A, order seems to be important here, so let's go ahead and reflect that in the denominator. There are 15 ways to pull the first ball out of the urn, 14 ways to pull the second ball out of the urn by the multiplication rule and the fact that we're doing this without replacement. There are 13 ways to pull the third one, 12 ways, and 11 ways. Now that denominator, by sheer coincidence, is 360,360 different ways to pull the balls from the urn. In the numerator of those 360,360, we want to know how many of them have exactly two odd numbered balls in them and those odd number balls came out on odd numbered draws. So up top here we're going to start out with 8 choose 2. That says of the 8 odd numbered balls that are in the bag we are choosing two of them and furthermore we're using combinations which indicates the order that we select them is not important. In this particular case we chose five and three as our two odd numbered balls. So up, up here we are choosing the odd numbered balls. Then the next decision is out of the seven even numbered balls that are in the bag we want to choose three of them. So that corresponds to choosing the number of ways to choose the even numbers out of the bag. So far we have not accounted for order and now we'll start to do that. The even number ball that occurs in an odd position can be either in the first, the third, or the fifth position. Because of that, there's three different choices for him. So this is the even position number of that even number that occurs on an odd numbered draw. Last step here is there are three factorial ways to order the even numbers, so I'll say order evens, and then there are two factorial ways to order the odd numbers, and when you multiply that numerator out you wind up with 35,280, and when you place that in lowest terms that is 14 over 143, so just a 
tiny bit short of 1 in 10 is the probability of your getting two odd numbered balls that are drawn from the bag on odd numbered draws.